This video gives a summary of the data collected by the Australia and New Zealand Dialysis and Transplant Registry for the 2019 up to 31st of December about dialysis and kidney transplantation in Australia and was developed in collaboration with people with lived experience of kidney disease with the aim of providing accessible information for the broader community. The ANS Data Registry is an organisation that collects and reports information about kidney transplantation and dialysis in Australia and New Zealand. ANS Data is based in Adelaide at the South Australian Health and Medical Research Institute or SAMRI and is funded by the Australian Government through Organ and Tissue Authority, by the New Zealand Ministry of Health and by the Kidney Health Australia. ANS data collects information about patients such as date of birth, sex and postcode, but not address. It collects information about their health and treatment, for example, the cause of their kidney disease and the type of dialysis a person is receiving. The collected information is strictly protected by privacy regulation and people's personal details are never released publicly. The registry collects this information from renal units and hospitals each year and then produces a number of reports based on the data. These reports are used to ensure safety and quality of dialysis and kidney transplant services for planning and evaluating health services, for example where new dialysis chairs are required and investigating specific issues. The information collected also helps inform research that aims to improve kidney health and treatments for people with kidney disease. In 2019, more than 3,000 people started dialysis for end-stage kidney disease. Among the 4,000 or so people who started either on dialysis or had a transplant, 114 people received a kidney transplant before starting dialysis, which is four less than the previous year. This is also called a preemptive transplant and are usually from living kidney donors and done before a person needs to start dialysis. The main causes of kidney disease were diabetes, followed by glomerulonephritis, which are diseases involving inflammation of the kidney filters, high blood pressure, polycystic kidney disease, which is a genetic disease, and reflux nephropathy, which is a condition in which kidney damage is caused by back pressure from the bladder due to faulty valves between the kidney and the bladder. Of the people who started dialysis or received a kidney transplant in the year of 2019, most of them were between 55 to 74 years of age, followed by people who were 35 to 54 years of age. There were closer to 14,000 people in total around Australia receiving dialysis at the end of the year which includes people who commenced dialysis in 2019. Just over half of these people were receiving hemodialysis at a satellite dialysis unit and 22% at a hospital dialysis unit. And 1,104 received a transplant in that year, a decrease of 45 patients compared to the number who received a transplant in 2018. In total, there were 12,815 people living with a kidney transplant at the end of 2019, which includes people who received a transplant in that year. Of the over 1,000 kidney transplants received in 2019, Four in five of these kidneys were from deceased donors and one in five were from live donors. The detailed ANS data reports and report chapters are publicly available on the ANS data website at www.ansdata.org.au. 
Thanks for watching the video. If you have any queries, please contact ANS Data via community at ansdata.org.au.